welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I'm di I was on my way to boot camp this morning and I was just thinking in my head of different um, sort of videos and things like that I want to sort of talk about. Uh, something's been playing on my mind for a long time, well ever since I probably started Slimming World, like a few weeks after I started to think about it. Because when, about basically the afterlife of Slimming World. Um, so you join a diet club, as we say, even though I don't see Slimming World now as a diet, at all, I never did in the first place. Um, but you join these programmes and you get to Target, and I'm just going back to my first experience of Weight Watchers. And I got to Target, and then I just went back to eating normal. I was young, I was going out all the time, I'd sort of put a hold, I wouldn't say put a hold on my life, but I, I changed things and then just expected to go back to the way it was before and the weight just crept back on. You know, we'd go out most nights, me and Darren, um, especially most weekends. So, yeah, it just, I didn't stick to Weight Watchers, I didn't stick to the healthy life living. And people do, people do, same as Slimming World, you know, people do do Slimming World and Weight Watchers and they stick to it and that's their life, but I didn't. And I regret, well, I don't, I don't, I never have regrets, but there's something I do have a little bit of regret about. You know, I look back and think, I then struggled onwards and onwards and onwards, different diets, you know, things that we've talked about, um, just different diets that we tried and things like that. So, what is the plan with Slimming World sort of going forward for me? Um, I've seen people at Target now, and I apologise if this is a little bit of a waffly um, video, but I just want to talk about it, get your views, and sort of see your stance on it, and what where do you want to take your journey? Um, so everyone on Slimming World is on their own journey, they're doing their own thing, they're eating their sins one way, they're eating their sins another way, they're not having their sins at all, or they're using minimal. Everyone is on their own journey, it's about finding what works for you. But what about afterwards? You get to target, and what happens then? Um, I, I, I've watched Fopaholic, I don't know if anyone's watched Nikki from Fopaholic. She, she's just this glamorous, she's a Slimming World consultant, she's just glamorous, she did 15 so years ago, she did Slimming World, she lost three stone in three months and has done amazing. And she lives and swears by, even now she's pregnant, she's still following it as a consult, um, sorry, as a Slimming Worlder who's pregnant. And yeah, she just wants to live, live by it, she lives and breathes it. And that's her job and everything like that so she is amazing and I find her quite motivational sometimes um, and she, you know, she, she has lived and breathed it since she's done done the program uh, sorry, done the program done Slimming World you know and got to Target so yeah I uh, it's just something like this I've been thinking about I want to be a bit like Nikki I want to kind of live and breathe it in the fact that it will always be there, I will always be on plan. I might not count my sins and write them down like I did before, but I might mentally write them down in my head. Um, I might, I'll still have my healthy extra bees. Now, I think when you, correct me if I'm wrong here, and I'm just guessing, but when you get to target Slimming World, I understand you get, you still have your healthy extra A, but you have two healthy extra Bs and to maintain. So, um, to main to maintain and Katie S look, Katie Jane um I think she was Katie Jane SW I think she's just Katie Jane now she um she's now a Slimming World consultant or going aiming to be and she's now at Target and she's maintaining and it's going a little bit away but she's maintaining she's following it as Slimming World Target member should be but I've seen others who get obsessed with it um, and I've seen others now doing other things like for example and this is no Gemma this is Gemma's journey now she was Gemma SW she's now doing calorie counting because for her it's about fitness now 
she has done amazing like she's lost what three stone she looks amazing and she's really really into her fitness and that is brilliant because i'm also into my fitness um for me i don't want to go down the route of calorie counting i've been there done that i don't same as weight watchers points i didn't want to count the points i know you have your sins with slimming world but you don't have to measure out your pasta, you don't have to measure out your chicken, you don't have to measure everything out, um, your fruit and things like that. You can just eat it until you know you feel satisfied. Um, so, you know, good for her. She's now aiming, she's doing a, following this eight-week program. I presume it's either a gym or part of a course local to her, maybe. I don't know. But that's her journey, and th that's great. But why am I going to take my journey? Like for me, fitness is a big thing. I have always done running ever since I've been with Darren. Well, before we were down, we sort of he did it as a friend. We were friends first, and we just went running together. Um, I've been to the gym and things like that previous. I've joined gyms since and things like that. But running has always been there. I'm I never see myself doing marathons or I might even do half a marathon a push. I don't have the desire to do a half a marathon at the moment. It's not something I've got to do. I like my 10Ks now. I, I did my first one this year, which I enjoyed, and I plan to keep going with my running and that I can enjoy all the others that I've booked in for. So fitness will always be a part of me. It definitely helps change my body shape. It tones things up. It, yeah, it's a massive part, but you know, do I live and breathe the world for the rest of my life? I think subconsciously I will. I don't, I learned my mistake when I was my early 20s. I don't want to go back to that. I, I did, I, and I've talked about this many times and I did this program, it was a, a, some ladies I found, they, they're, they're local to me, they're Brighton, so it's not too far from me, but they, they, went sort of nationwide anyone could join in um it was sort of based aims at mums um and it just went working women and things like that working women mums mainly and it was called supercharged um and they did a program and i did it twice and the second time i got it i got that where i deprived myself i realized that for years i've been deprived myself of the sweet things, the, the stuff that I enjoy. So when I deprive myself, I then binge and it's a constant cycle. And last time I got it, had I not got it, I would have just done Slimming World the same as I'd done the previous time, which was only less than a year before doing this supercharge or this time round. I, I think I would have been exactly the same. I wouldn't have stayed for the meetings. I would have had a bar of chocolate, sinned it, and then I'll have another one, and then another one, and then another one. I now enjoy it, and that's taken me nearly 40 years, well, 39 years to actually, well, how old was I? 38, I don't wanna push myself too old. <laughs> 38, <laughs> um, last year when I realized that's what I had been doing, I had been depriving myself. So I don't wanna ever go back there, I want to, I want to sort of, I want to enjoy these things. Um, I want to, m big thing for me is I felt really good when I did vegan area year before last. I felt amazing. And even though it's not from a, like a diet point of view, but it, I just felt physically amazing. So that's something I want to aim for. Yeah, obviously it helps the animals and things like that. But that what isn't why I did it. I just felt it because, and I should do it for that, because I do love animals. But I want, I want. To, that's what I want to aim for. So something maybe I could do Slimming World on this afterwards. It's just I don't really know what I'm getting at. I feel like I'm waffling, but I just want to know what if you have any plans. I mean, I'm not nowhere near target. I've still got well over and a stone and a half, nearly two stone, um, and depending if I want to change my target as well. Um, you know, I might want to drop it another, another sort of half a stone on top of that. So I don't know, it might be at least two stone. Um, but that is something that scares me when you get to target. I've seen people struggle and I've saw others, you know, 
struggling and they were like and that's the other thing I do go to group every week I see some that go to group every week do you go to group every week I want to go I want to go like once a month maybe like first month Friday of the month or the last Friday of the month I go to group um so that I, you're a lifetime member once you get to target so um unless you can't obviously come out of your target range um you know are you still going to go to group when you every week um i don't know it's really hard and it's just something that i wanted to talk about and it's really this video could be really pointless <laughs> what is your thoughts on it um so i'm just gonna have some coffee what is everyone's thoughts on it my plan this is my plan i think my plan is to when i hit target and hopefully that will be i don't know in a year it doesn't sound like i've got much to lose but it's taken me this long to lose a stone and a half so i'm thinking another nine months maybe nine months a year um do i then so that's what i plan so hopefully i lose target and my plan is to just carry on following it for a while go to group maybe every other week to begin with um if it gets a bit sidetracked then go to back to group every week carry on with my exercise and just enjoy being this as and maintaining you know maintaining slim in the world and i'll probably do that for a few good months afterwards um and then just kind of live and breathe it um yeah just enjoy it you know carry on being unplanned for a while until you know i feel comfortable and that i'm maintaining each sort of or within target range each week for a while and then go maybe once a month and sort of see how it is from there um there is a lady at group and I'm going to ask her opinion on this. How does she do it? And she just said, I mean, she was still talking about it briefly at group last week. But I will ask her maybe more in depth when I get to that point. Um, well, she's on our Facebook page as well. So I, she doesn't come every week, but I might just message her and see what she does. But she did talk at it briefly and she did say that she basically just carries on with it. She has a healthy extra beers and she stays there. And some weeks she puts on two pounds and the next week she's lost a pound. So she just... She goes on holiday, she gets straight back on it, and she might she then just get back on plan. Um, and she's been at Target for two years, so yeah, maybe I'll just speak to her, but I just wanted to put this video out there, kind of what your plans are. Um, just, are you gonna do something different? Do you want to do, like, aim for exercise, or are you gonna, you know do it and then just kind of go back to eating normally or I don't know it's it feels just weird that I think it scares me a little bit it scares me I don't want to repeat what I did last time because then I yo-yoed all all the time since then um I just don't want to I don't see this as a diet this time I see this as healthy living I I enjoy food again um, I did the body coach um, program. I don't know if anyone's heard of him, Joe Wicks. I mean, I pretty much did it just because I love Joe Wicks. Um, <laughs> people, people might not agree with me, but I do love Joe. Um, and like with exercise and that you can't out-train a bad diet, um, and which is very, very true. So I do my exercise. I will carry on with that. But I still need to eat, maintain that healthy living, healthy eating. Um, but I did the body coach. If, a couple of years ago I think it was about 2015 now I did it and I really enjoyed it because I loved the exercise and I do a lot of his hit workouts on YouTube and things like that all the time if I'm not doing boot camp um, or at the weekend if I fancy doing one but I did the food part and it was a lot again it was weighing stuff out the portions were massive and it was literally tons of it was expensive as well um like buying the food and everything the program was affordable but there's the 
buying the food each week, the amount of spinach you had to buy. Um, but it, I was missing things like chocolate. I missed the odd glass of wine. You know, I wasn't sitting there. Yeah, it was. I just missed living. Like, I missed going out for a meal. Was, I would get anxious about going out for a meal. Uh, whereas now, like, I went out for a meal with my family, my mum and us family, uh, my family, and we went out for a meal. And I would normally I would be stressed about it. I would be really stressed. But I had gammon, baked potato, and I think it was egg. Yeah, egg. And I really enjoyed it. And I would never have chosen gammon before. I probably would have chosen, I would have gone completely, I would have had a burger. I would never have enjoyed it because I'm not a big burger fan unless it's homemade or the Aldi ones, I quite like those. But I went, I would go completely off and have something. I wouldn't because I would probably have a pudding as well. Because I could. Because I was going out and I was anxious and I thought, well, sod it, I'll just go straight back off plan. I don't want to do that. I want to enjoy the food. I don't like it. I don't want to eat greasy stuff and everything like that. Because I just don't like stuff like that. It just really upsets my stomach. It has done for years. But like, it was a blowout. It was going all out. And that's what I don't want to do anymore. I don't need to do that anymore. So I think Slimming World has helped me in that respect. I mean, I, doing this supercharged thing, that really has helped me help with my mind. And that's just me, emotional eater, binge eater, obsessed with not being happy in my body whereas now I feel much more confident um, even with losing the weight I look at photos and I just don't like like um, I hate the photos I I have got hardly any photos of me and the boys and that really upsets me sometimes I do sell for this because they're not too bad but I hate the fact I have got hardly any photos because I hate the way I look so I'm always taking pictures of the boys I've got hundreds on my phone of the boys thousands but there's probably literally a handful. I probably count on one hand how many pictures there are of me and the boys, and that that's going to change. Uh, sorry, I'm getting quite emotional about this. Like <laughs> that is going to change, and hopefully, when I get to target, I'm going to take loads and loads of pictures with me and my boys, and um, and I'm doing it more now. The other day, I even asked for Darren to take a picture of me with the boys. We went for a walk up the leaf hill, and it was on Mother's Day, and I still didn't like what I saw, but I noticed the difference. I looked different. I looked happier um ralph didn't he was tired and hungry <laughs> and didn't want to have his picture taken but yeah me and sydney looked all right. um yes yeah, so, so it's making me quite emotional that that will change now um sorry sorry about that i had to compose myself um so yeah that is my plan to take lots of photos um, to take each day at a time really and enjoy going out for meals and enjoy social and start living again um, I'd like if someone said to me tomorrow we're going out for a meal I'd be like okay that's fine um, and I will make the best choice that I have and I would just be on plan the next time um, you know I'm not gonna have if I want pizza, I'll have pizza. But there's only certain places I'll have a pizza. Um, yeah, I will just enjoy the food. I will always make the best choice now. And I feel comfortable that I can get back on plan the next day. I don't have that mindset. I do. I struggle with it. And it's something that will always be there. But I don't have that mindset where I was just like, well, I don't have a pizza tonight. So I might as well eat bad for breakfast, lunch and every other snack. Because... Yeah, I'm going out for pizza. One meal is, as I've proved the last month or so, it doesn't cause a massive amount of damage. But three meals could cause a little bit of damage, or two days worth of meals could cause bad meals, could cause a lot of damage for, for the following week at weighing. So yeah, that is my plan. I just wanted to talk about it. Let me know what you think. Um, but I just something that I want to think about now so that I when I get to target to keep me motivated that I know what I'm doing that I will follow Slimming World or I live and breathe it 
for so many months and keep carrying on with that and then just gradually just go to my meeting maybe once a month um so yeah that is my target and to take lots of pictures um and i will take some pictures on my journey as i go so i can see the difference because transformation tuesday or transformation thursday is all different transformation days um I don't have that many to compare. I have pictures of me like half naked, basically, where Darren's taken before and after pictures. But I've just never got to the after. <laughs> so this time he has taken pictures of me and I'm gonna take, maybe when I get to one and a half stone, I'll get him to take another picture and I will comp show you and compare, but it will just be on here or my Instagram, um, which is in the drop down below. Um, not on my main, Facebook page or anything like that so yeah when I get to one and a half stone or maybe two stone because I, I could do one and a half stone next week um I might put out there my before and after picture um just as a comparison anyway I've been waffling for oh I don't know because I stopped it and I for a little while but uh yeah let me know your thoughts on it what your plans are or if you're at target what is your what is your secret what are you what is your journey what are you where is your afterlife of Simlin world? Um, are you still living and breathing it? Are you doing something different? I don't, as I said, I don't plan to do anything different because I've tried loads of different things and this is the only thing that I really enjoy because I love my food. Um, anyway, yeah, have a good day and I shall speak to you soon. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope I'm going to try and do some more videos like this um, or what I eat in a day. So I'm sure I'll be putting some of those up soon. So give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to. Take care and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.